God gives us our why. And if you don't come to God and get your purpose from him, life won't make sense to you. Because God is the one who gives us our mission, our purpose, and helps us understand why we are to live the lives in accordance to his word, what we are to focus on, and what our mission should be. Hear me loud and clear. God is the one that gives you your purpose. He tells Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly, I knew your name. I had a purpose and a plan for your life. Before people had an opinion, I had a purpose. Before people put their mouths on you, I already Already had a purpose. Can I insert this real quick right where I stand? It doesn't matter what your past is. God still has a purpose and a plan for your life. In fact, God will use your past to tie into your purpose. So ultimately, it all works together for his good. Every tear you've cried, even the mistakes you made, even the setbacks you endured, God will use your past and still work with you in the present to get you to your future. You know how I know you got purpose? Cause look at your handprint. No two handprints are alike. Every single human being on earth, even twins, have their own individual identity and handprint. That means there's something specific for you to do. Something specific for you to build. Something specific for you to work on. Your, your personality, your experiences, everything you've gone through, God is still up to something in your life. Skills pay the bills. While you get education, also add to your repertoire. Make yourself more marketable because God has a prepared place for a prepared person. If you prepare yourself, God will give you promotion. If you prepare yourself, he'll open up a position because the only reason Bezalel got the job is because he had prepared himself to do the job. Ain't no need getting mad and jealous with other people when they start operating in their lane and God start blessing them for them training themselves getting certification getting educated don't get mad at other people instead of you surfing the internet you need to be going to some symposiums going back to class turn your car into a classroom educate yourself more than you entertain yourself and God will elevate you when you apply yourself at the level you're at, it's only a matter of time God elevates you. And the people who are over you and the people you work with may not celebrate you now. Don't focus on them. You do your job to the best of your ability because God will not forget your labor of love. And other people may not celebrate you or pat you on the back, but God is watching your work and he's watching your ways. Because if God certain stuff out of you, Joseph, while work you at the level at Potiphar's house, it's only a matter of time you become prime minister. I want to see what you're going to do at the lower level. I want to see if you're going to do it with a smile or are you going to complain about it the whole time. I want to see if you're going to do it when you feel well and when you don't feel well, are you going to be consistent? Because if I get consistency out of you, I can consistently keep on blessing you. Master your craft. Work at it until you perfect it. Work at it until your name is called. Work at it until you get more engagements. Work at it until you get a promotion. Work at it until you get a raise. Work at it until you become a professional. Don't be content being an average. Don't be content being an amateur. Be excellent in what you do. I don't care if you a street sweeper. I don't care if you serving folks at Wendy's. I don't care if you working at Macy's. Do it with a smile. Do it with a spirit of excellence. Master what you do, and I promise you the master will bless you for it. Scripture says, do everything you do as unto the Lord. That everything you do, don't look to get recognition from men. Do what you do to give glory to God and thanks to God for giving you the gift. 